Hello viewers, you're welcome to physics class and the topic today is pressure. My name is Kike Lomo Osilo. Learning objectives. As the lesson progresses and by the end of the lesson, the students will 1. Define pressure and give examples of pressure. 2. List and explain types of pressure. Pressure. Pressure is the force applied perpendicular to the surface of an object per unit area over which that force is distributed. Example of pressure. This is a game called tug of war. It requires a lot of pressure to win over the opponent. On the side of that, we can see the amount of pressure exerted on the floor by the feet and also on the rope. The pressure pot is also an example of pressure. The pressure pot cooks faster than ordinary pot because it is tightly closed and it does not allow the vapor to escape. And once the vapor goes back into the cooking, the food cooks faster at a lesser temperature. We also have the uh, measuring machine, the pressure measuring machine, which we know we use for blood pressure. And once it is placed over the ham, the digital machine starts to read and you can know the level of your blood pressure. Another example we have is a man standing on one foot and also standing on the toes. You can see from the diagram we have that the pressure exerted is different because the amount of weight resting altogether on one foot is not the same as resting on just the toes. We have a carpenter. The carpenter will hammer the nail to push it inside the wooden or any other material, metallic material using a nail with a sharp or a very pointed end which makes it easier for the carpenter to nail the hammer into the metallic material or a wood. Another example is the kitchen we the knife we use in our kitchen. If it is not sharp then we cannot cut easily our vegetables or other food items but when we have a very sharp knife it cuts easily the vegetable and other food items. Types of pressure. We have absolute pressure, atmospheric pressure, gauge pressure, and differential pressure. Absolute pressure. Absolute pressure is the sum of gauge pressure and atmospheric pressure. They are used in research, scientific laboratories, and aeronautics, where precise measurements are critical to determine the altitude. For example, when diving, both the atmosphere and the water above the you exact pressure and the combination of the atmospheric and water pressure is called absolute pressure and since water is about 800 times denser than air the pressure changes at a faster rate than it does on land atmospheric pressure it is defined as the force per unit area exerted against the surface by the weight of the hair above the surface for example the hair around you has weight and it's presses against anything it touches that is atmospheric pressure for you and it is also measured using a barometer for example when you inflate a balloon it is example of atmospheric pressure sipping any drink from the glass using a straw is an example of atmospheric pressure which you can see from the diagram on the screen also when our hairs get blocked is due to changing pressure gauge pressure gauge pressure is the pressure related to atmospheric pressure. It is positive for pressures above atmospheric pressure and negative for pressures below it. In fact, atmospheric pressure does not add to the pressure in any fluid not enclosed in a rigid container. The example we have here is uh, we have a gas cylinder and this is also used um, majorly in the mechanic workshop by panel beaters. They also make sure that the gauge shows them the amount of what gas in the cylinder and how they will make sure it is equal before they will light the the tube that's going to bring out the fire for them to what to either merge ions together or wet ions together or metals together differential pressure differential pressure is a pressure that is measured relative to the pressure in the atmosphere around it and the other type of pressure which we have explained absolute pressure which is measured against absolute pressure, absolute zero, but it is 
not often used to measure pressure in real life scenario. The mathematical formula for pressure is as seen above. We have P is equal to F ratio F to A. P is equal to pressure, F is equal to force, and A is equal to area. And the SI unit for pressure is Pascal, which is PA in capitals. Kindly view, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.